I'm Apurva Chandru. I'm the principal designer and co-founder of Coppertron. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about my home and give you a small walkthrough of our entire space. So what you see in my house is basically a lot of colors, a lot of green spaces because of my background that I come from a hill station and I like adding that little bit of a farm style into the entire home. I don't like following any particular themes for the house. I like to give that, you know, the, the space has to take its entire natural flow by itself. So the entire backyard is, is inspired, of course, by nature. So a lot of natural elements have been used. For example, this is a brick cladding. That is a terracotta brick cladding that I've got it done on the existing wall itself. Uh, this is called a tree of life wall art which is a combination of green and uh, white um, and the sofa chair that you see here has a little bit of a sentimental value for me because it is from my home and it is 36 years old so the entire set of the sofa is here and you see the cushion covers it, it equally has a nature inspired elements and uh, patterns on it so one thing that you'll see common in the entire home is that you'll see a lot of mobile furniture. I don't believe in the concept of fixed furniture because maybe I, I like changing the layout very often. So what you see here in the dining space is the same. So we have a sideboard which is used as a crockery unit or it can be used for you know keeping your letters, any other knickknacks. And then I do have these wall shelves just to display some curios which are close to my heart. So this is the dining table. Again, we are a small family. We are a family of three. It's just me, my husband and my daughter. So this is a very, you know, a cute dining table that we've picked up from an online store. A set of two chairs, a bench and a nice uh, a table, which is a combination of wood and white. It doesn't look heavy on ice. It gives that entire soothing space as well because you know once you start playing with white as a color it can just blend naturally blends in with any other tone that you want to use so this is our master bedroom generally in the apartment the spaces that we get for individual room is very less so we have to work around with what is available so I've tried to make a best use of the entire space with a lot of mobile furniture so what you see right here is a dresser. So this is like a dresser come a storage unit for us. So I like a lot of patterns that is happening on the existing solid wood. So the detail caught my eye. And what you see here is a nice poster bed, a solid teakwood poster bed. And there is a brick cladding behind. Again, I like playing around with textures and patterns and still keep that, uh, you know, that calm soothing effect on the entire space. So the entire cladding is painted white. And then you see again the entire, in spite it is a color, it is still a nature inspired prints on the entire bedding itself. We have a lot of light fixtures at home because I don't believe in the concept of having these heavy false ceilings. So what you see here is a nice pendant lamp at the corner with a nice greens so adding that light and uh, life into the corner of the space so on the brick cladding itself i have a statement wall art which is called sun in the sky again nature inspired so uh, to give a contrast to the white brick cladding itself i've taken this nice console table and uh, got it painted in a black color here and there we've worked around, I've worked around with a lot of these cane elements, again the natural elements, to add that life into the space. So this is my kitchen, my favorite part of the home. As you see, this is an open kitchen. I've worked around with three color combinations, white, black and grey. Uh, the main uh, reason behind working with this uh, color combination is because I had to retain the granite that the builder had already given and then retain the backsplash as well. So the best combination that I felt was a grey to complement uh, both the colors. I do have a built-in hob which is a blessing for me because uh, uh, I have, you know, I feel 
this is in line with the granite slab itself and then you see a lot of open shelves so i don't like working around with heavy spaces i uh, prefer having these open shelves because i get to display my coffee mugs which i collect a lot uh, and then you know whether it is a spoon holder or it is these uh, coffee jars tea jars all of these can be still displayed at the same time you know it gives me that advantage to keep the space clean and tidy at the same time thank you for watching this video for more such content don't forget to subscribe to homely by lbb